everybody. We have got a lioness, which I will now show you. She stopped. She was with that big famous male lion, Scarface, who's yet to pick his head up off the ground. So I'm afraid we're going to watch her for a little while. We can't go off-road in this area, but we're told by our very fine game scout behind us that there is a road not too far from here that she's heading towards. Now, that is encouraging because she's going towards a fairly large grouping of wildebeest, and you can see, if I was a lion, this is exactly the grass I'd want to be walking through. Look how beautifully camouflaged she is. So we're going to try and watch her and see if she doesn't go towards them, and if not, we'll come back towards Scarface and see what he's going to get up to. Uh, you know, he's a bit old these days, so I don't think he's going to get up to a huge amount this evening, other than perhaps pilfering himself a meal from her as and when she decides to kill something. She looks pretty hungry to me. Her belly is empty. Let's try and go around a bit. Oh dear, lost a gear. There is also quite a frightening amount of water in the air, which makes me very scared to the core of my being. And all of you are very pleased with the amount of cat we've found today. What was the exact comment? Catterday. It's not Saturday, is it? Oh, right. There are thousands of wildebeest in here. <laughs> Kirsten says it's, not, it's Monday, which is Meow Day. Now, where is this track? Yeah. This looks like a track. No, that's not a track. I'm just trying to keep an eye on her because she's disappearing now. Um, oh, sorry. Let me just get out of the way. There's a, a minibus in a rush. Let's have another look at her then. Sorry about the pole. Sorry, everyone. I can't really move right now. There she goes. You see how perfectly designed they are for this kind of landscape? We've had a lot of questions about whether or not it's not more difficult to hunt here. Well, Chitty Chatty Meg, you say she hunts alone. Well, she's doing that now, but they don't always hunt alone here. And in fact, it's quite interesting. They, they have shown, uh, and they've done studies in this particular area, that lionesses living on their own eat as much. Ooh. She's calling. Listen to her calling. Oh, wow. So she's calling her pride mates. And we did have reports of another two in this area. And I suspect quite strongly that they are of the paradise pride. And Scarface is up. OK, let's go back a bit. She's obviously not on a serious hunting mission now. She's calling. Liam spotted Scarface Leon. He's lifted his old head, his wizened old face from the wilderness. Of course, in order to turn around here, you need to have the strength of Hercules and the patience of Job. See how I like to mix my pantheons there. You like that, Liam? I don't suppose Job can be considered part of a pantheon. Right, here is the most famous lion in the world. If none of you, if you haven't met him before, you're in for a treat. He's got a seriously, seriously, um, what should I say? Iconic face, I guess. But on account of the fact that most of his left eye is missing, his right eye, sorry. Yeah, he is. Look, he's lifted his head up. Hello, old fella. Hello. <laughs> there he is, along with the lights. Beautiful. Isn't he wonderful? And I say he's the most famous lion because, of course, people come here to see him on account of the fact that he has 
just such, you know, he's been in this area for ages, obviously, but he's so easily recognizable. So everyone knows of Scarface. Stacey, you say, does it get my heart racing when a big male is in such close proximity? I, I was telling the story last night, actually, and it it used to, you know, when, I mean, it, it makes me feel filled with a, a great sense of awe, certainly, but it doesn't make my heart race with, uh, with fear or anything like that. But it certainly used to, and the very first lion sighting I ever had from a vehicle was when I was training, well, you know, close lion sighting like this. I mean, he's sitting, what, about 30 feet from us, but more than that, 50 feet, maybe. And the first time I saw a lion, he was an inexperienced lion, he didn't know vehicles very much, and he dropped his head down. And that kind of classic, I'm a bit threatened, I might charge you kind of a um, posture. And I will never forget how my heart raced then. And I couldn't understand how the people around me were sitting completely calmly. He's an impressive fellow, isn't he? And of course, Stacy, the other thing is that when he's lying down flat on his side, he looks like a, you know, sort of a large Labrador, if you like. But when they lift their heads, then their magnificence is really on display. That black mane is obviously blowing in the wind. It's long. And interestingly also, we saw him the other day during one of our rehearsals. And he was lying on his other side. He was lying on his left. And his right hip is not in a great way. And I remember it wasn't in a great way last year when we met him. He was limping on it. But the left hip looks to be in pretty good nick, actually. So that's good. Now, I wonder if he will get up and do something. And uh, Well, yes, all of you say that... His mane is stunning and he's having a good hair day. I'm not sure that these lions ever have a bad hair day, to be honest. I think they have wonderful hair days all the time. Fiam, smile, you're on camera. Again, yes. I said to some people the other today, they stopped next to us, we were with the Angama Pride, and I said, I said, why are you taking pictures of us? And they were such hilariously friendly people, but said in their accent, they were from China, obviously, and they said, because you are so handsome, all three of you. And we all fell about laughing, they fell about laughing, and the lions disappeared into the lugger. When we're not nearly as handsome as Scarface, the male lion. We'll try and move a little bit from here. We'll go a little bit forward and get a nice view. You too. And we'll just see if we can't get another view. Oh, look at him. Oh, dear. Now, take a good look at this male lion. People tend to think that lions of the Mara are the biggest in the world and the crocodiles are the biggest in the world. But I tell you what, I think if you were to put him next to one of those Birmingham boys, they would be a near thing. Let's go and have a look. Now we have still got the pride. Fortunately, they're just lying out in the open for us, but they're going to be crossing our boundary soon. They're heading in a westerly direction. So they're going on to Simbambili, Arethusa. Yeah.